she conceived by the Holy Ghost. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray pray for for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. And the Word was made flesh, and the Word was among us. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, the Holy Mother of God, that, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of thy Son, Jesus Christ, by the blessing of an angel, so by his cross and passion may we come to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As precious men, Domine, he so called my wonderful, Rebabis me, Suga me, and I am the Lord. Miserere me, Deus secundum magna misericordia tua. Gloria, Patri, Filio, et Spiritus Sancto. Sicudera tu principio e nunc et sempre. Et in secula seculorum. Amen. As precious me, Domine, his opo et mundabor, Rabavis me et suvenivem de abobor. Ostende nobis Domine misericordiam tuam, et salutare tuam danemis, Domine exalvi rationem meam, et clamome sate venia, Dominus obispum, et cum spirito tuo, ordemus. Exalvi nos Domine sancte pater omnipotente tene Deus, et mita redimia di Sancto Vangelum tuum de celis, qui custodi ad pove ad protega ad visita et atque defenda, omnes habitantes in hoc habitaculo, et Christum Dominum nostrum. Amen. In nome Patris e Filii e Spiritus Sancti, Amen. In coi volatari Dei e Dei Filippi Gabium tutum meum, iurica mai Dei essere cera causa meum de gente non santa, ad nomine nel cuore lo solo. Quae tuus Deus voti tu come a quale definisti quale suisti in cielo come fligi meditus. E mette luce in tua veritate in tua misura e tuus erano su ruttero di montum santo tuo me di tabernacola tua. E ti in tua volontari Dei e te in cui ti fica di un tutto meo. Ob te voti vincitela e Deus Deus meus quale suisti anima me a quale tu togas me. Svene in Deus con la tua propitevo in salutare gutus me e Deus me. Gloria, Patria, Filio, Spirito e Santo, si coderat in principio e nunc et sempre, ed in secula seculorum. Amen. In tua idolatare Dei, ed in cui litifica di un tutto meo. Auditum nostrum in nome dei Domini, cui feci cei in terra. Confiti, o Dio Onipotente, Dio te Maria, te Virgine, Beate Maria sempre Virgine, via Domitalia Cangelo, via Tuioani Battista, e salve chi si possa rispetto il Paolo, omnibus sanctus e tibi pater, qui a vita di minis cogitazione e verbo e popola, meo culpa, meo culpa, mea maxima culpa, e di opere come l'altra Maria sempre Virgine, via Domitalia Cangelo, via Tuioani Battista, salve chi si possa rispetto il Paolo, Amen, Sancto, Sete, Pate, ora vari con me, adora a Luda e Nostro. Miseria tu res, mi tu tens Deus, et mi sopra tatis res, visto tu per vos et vita me terra. Amen, lucense, ma sussione, me trimissione, me ritorno solo, in figlio et nome, che ogni potente mi deri con Tomis. Amen, Deus, tu con grazia, sui peccati, stas, et presto, et capitone, in te, ostende non mi sto, non mi misericordia a tua, et salutare tu e dai nobis, Domine, grazie a Sione, mea, et la nome del Sante e Venia, Dominus Obiscum, et con Spirito tuo, orde mus. Dum hei 
Regium silentium tenerunt omnia et nox in suo corso medium inter habere et omnipotens sermo tuus domine, de celis a regalibus sedibus veni. Dominus regnavit et corme tutus est, in tutus est dominus fortitudinem et precintice. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritus Sancto, et sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Dum medium silentium tenerunt omnia, et nox in tuo suo corso medium inter habere, omnipotens sermo tuus domine de celis regalibus sedibus veni. Kyria eleison, Kyria eleison, Kyria eleison, Christa eleison, Christa eleison, Christa eleison, Kyria eleison, Kyria eleison, Kyria eleison. Gloria in excelsis Deo, et in terra pazzo minibus mori voluntatis, laudamus te, benedicimus te, adoramus te, glorificamus te. Trasit agimus divi propte magnum gloriam tuam. Domine Deus, Rex Celestis, Deus Patrim Onipotens, Domine Fili Genite Iesu Christe, Domine Deus, Omnius Dei, Filius Patris, qui tolis peccato mundi miserere nobis, qui tolis peccato mundi suscipe deprecazione nostra, qui senses exeram Patris miserere nobis, Quaniam tu solus sanctus, tu solus dominus, tu solus santissimus, Iesu Christe, cum santo spiritu in gloria Dei Patris. Amen. Un do pax a vobis, et un spirito tuo. Ordemus. Omnipotens e viterne Deus, dirige arcus nostros in beneplacito tuo, Ut in nome di lexi fili tui mere amor doni soperibus abundare. Qui te cum vivit al regnat in unitati spiritus santi Deus per domia secula seculorum. Amen. Ordemus. Concede quaesmus omnipotens Deus, ut nos con unigeniti tui nove per camen nativitas liberet, vos supecati cuque vetus te servitus tene, per riundum dominum nostrum Iesum Christum filium tu, Qui te cum vivit a regno ad unitati Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Lex Epistoli Viazzi Paolo Iposto et Galatas. Fratres, quantu tempore heres paulus est, in unde fete servo, cum si dominus omnium, sed sub tu coribus et a coribus us et usque ad prefinitium tempus a patre, it regnos come semus parturis sub elementis mundi eramus servientes. Et ubi veni plenitudo temporis misi Deus filium suum, factum es muliere, factum sublege, ut eus qui sublege eram redimeret, ut ad optionem fili ordum neceperimus. Quorium autum estis fili misi Deus spiritum fili su in corda vestra, tamantem, ave pater. Et atque jam non es servus et filius codesi filius et heres per Deo. Deo gratia. Speciosus forum et prei filis hominum diffuse les grazi in abistuis, et utavi pro meum verbum bonum dico ego opera mea regi, lingua mea calamus, fide velocite scribenti. Alleluia, alleluia! Dominus regnavit e corum intuit intuit dominus fortitudinem et precintit se vitute. Alleluia! Dominus Vobiscum, et cum Spirito Tuo, sequentius Sancti Vangelii secundum Luca. Gloria a Tibi Domine, in illo tempore eretiausef, et Maria Mate Gesu, mirante subitis quentice pantu de illo, e benedixi diris Simeon, et petixi dar Maria Mate Meus, et ce positus e sic in ruinam, et in resurrectione motorum in Israel, et in signum qui contradegetur, et tuam ipsius animam pretransibit gladius, ut revelentur ex multis cordibus cogitatione. Et erat Anna, profetissa, filia Famuel de Triduase, te processaret in diebus multis, et fixaret cum virus su anis septum e viginitate sua, et te gritua usque ad anus ob fugente quatur, 
Foi gol de chegada à banda e templo. E junho se deu para a secreção e os serviens não foi a pie. E três e se foram supervenientes com o que a domino. E o que a de ino omnibus que explicava a redenção em Israel. E tudo perfeito nos homens segundo o legum domini. E vês se sunt em Galileão em civitatem suam Nazaré. Tu er autem cresceva de confutabatur pleno sapientia. Et gratia Dei erat in ino. Deo, Deus te vi, Christian. On this Sunday within the octave of the Nativity, the epistle is taken from the letter of St. Paul the Apostle to the Galatians. Brethren, one who comes into his property while he is still a child has no more liberty than one of the servants, though all the estate is his. He is under the control of guardians and trustees until he reaches the age prescribed by his father. So it was with us in those childish days of ours we toiled away at the schoolroom tasks which the world gave us till the appointed time came. Then God sent out his Son on a mission to us. He took birth from a woman, took birth as a subject of the law, so as to ransom those who were subject to the law and make us sons by adoption. To prove that you are sons, God has sent out the Spirit of his Son into our hearts, crying out to us, Abba, Father, no longer then art thou a slave, thou art a son. And because thou art a son, thou hast through God the son's right of inheritance. From the Holy Gospel is the continuation of that according to St. Luke. At this time, Joseph and Mary, mother of Jesus, were still wandering over all that was said of him, when Simeon blessed them and said to his mother Mary, Behold, this child is destined to bring about the fall of many and the rise of many in Israel, to be a sign which men will refuse to acknowledge, and so the thoughts of many hearts shall be made manifest. As for thy own soul, it shall have a sword to pierce it. There was besides a prophetess named Anna, daughter of one Phanuel of the tribe of Asser, a woman greatly advanced in age, since she had lived with her husband for seven years after her maidenhood, and had now been eighty-four years a widow, who abode continually in the temple night and day, serving God with fasting and prayer. She too, at, the, at that very hour, came near to give God thanks and spoke of the child to all that patiently waited for the deliverance of Israel. And now, when it all had been done that the law of the Lord required, they returned to Galilee and to their own town of Nazareth. And so the child grew and came to his strength, full of wisdom, and the grace of God rested upon him. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. In nomine Patris et Filii, Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Carissimi, beloved in Christ, welcome to this broadcast mass, as we said, on this Sunday within the octave of the Nativity. It's not often, actually, that this mass is uh, uh, celebrated, uh, as it does very much depend uh, on how... Uh, the Christmas octave falls, so that sometimes this or sometimes the uh, uh, Mass for the sixth day of the octave uh, is, is, is offered. We are, as it were, transported today back to Christmas morning. Indeed, uh, you may recall that the object of octaves is for us to celebrate for several days a particular feast. Often, or only of course, generally greater feasts uh, like the Easter octave, like the Pentecost octave, and of course the Nativity octave. But uh, during the Christmas octave, of course, there have been uh, other events acknowledged, so that we have celebrated uh, St. Uh, Stephen, the first martyr, we've celebrated St. John, the beloved apostle and evangelist, we've celebrated the Holy Innocence, we celebrated yesterday St. Thomas of Canterbury, uh, tomorrow will be St. Sylvester, and then it will be the circumcision of the Lord and the Octave Day. Uh, so, 
whereas normally perhaps uh, uh, the, the same uh, feast day mass will be heard every day, uh, this week because of those other feasts, uh, this is the first opportunity again as it were to recall to mind what it is we are truly and properly celebrating. Not to say that those other feasts haven't contributed to our thoughts and reflections during this Christmas octave. They are particularly pertinent uh, to the celebration and commemoration of Christ's birth, uh, speaking as they do too of salvation and of that charity which we ourselves are called to emulate from the Christ child. But today is another opportunity, as it were, to enter back into uh, the spirit of the octave. Hence this beautiful introit for the beginning of Mass, Dum Medium Silentium. While all around lay deep in sleep, and night had no more than passed the middle point of her journey, then, Lord, thy almighty word came down, came from thy royal throne. Of course, on the feast day itself, there is so much going on that in some ways uh, it's, it's easy for us to forget uh, the simple circumstances of this great event. Uh, Midnight Mass, of course, is always a great and joyful and triumphant celebration. Uh, and of course, our thoughts are turned to the proclamation to the shepherds by the angels. On Christmas morning again, our thoughts are turned and preoccupied with the visitation of the shepherds. And then in the Mass of the day itself again, more joy and triumphant, it's, um, triumphant celebration. There is little, as it were, time uh, to properly, despite receiving three Masses, uh, time to properly contemplate uh, the great mystery uh, that has occurred. But it was, of course, in the silence of the night, in that stable, in that lowly circumstance, that without uh, the benefit of anaesthetic or perhaps even a midwife, uh, hot towels or water, Our Lady gave birth to the Son of God, to Emmanuel, God with us. The mystery, of course, of the Incarnation is uh, a miracle, a wondrous thing uh, in itself, that God should uh, condescend to become a part of his creation. But it is, of course, so that we might become a whole with his divinity. I hope I have said it several times uh, during the past week, and I hope the point hasn't been missed, but that the whole point of the Incarnation, the whole point of the Nativity, the whole point of the Christ Child, is that he comes so that we might become one with him, so that we might become one with God. He humbles himself to share in our humanity that we might share in his divinity. But notice how he comes quietly in the night, in the humblest of circumstances, and how he comes as one of us, like one of us, weak, gentle, helpless, of all the mammals and uh, species of mammals in the world, we are likened to be the, the weakest at this moment of birth, whereas foals and calves, cubs, and others within moments of birth can rise, almost leap to their feet and be ready to run, are born with the tools necessary for their survival that only have to develop and become stronger, 
Cats are born with claws. All are born with their teeth. We, of course, come completely helpless, completely weak, completely dependent on others around us. We come without teeth. We come barely with nails, but not that they would be any good in defending ourselves. We can't walk. We can't even sit up. We can't even raise our head. We can just about move our arms and our fingers. Do you ever, if you think back to that last time you saw a newborn baby, aside from the cuteness of it all, consider how helpless babies are. And yet it was in such wise that God became one of us. He, the creator and master of all the universe, who has power far beyond our imagination, condescended and allowed himself to become completely weak and helpless and defenceless. Such is the wise in which God humiliates himself in Christ for our sake. And in like manner does he leave this earthly world as well. Suffering and enduring the most humiliating death, or one, certainly one of the most humiliating deaths known in the history of humanity. To be crucified. All of this, yet he does for love of us, to enable us to become one with him. And all he asks of us by return is to love him. Is to acknowledge and to recognise his love and embrace it and respond in like kind with our own love from our own hearts. We see in the lives of the saints, we see in the lives of the Holy Family, of course, in the and of all the saints in Scripture. How God uses weakness or apparent weakness to do great and mighty things. As Our Lady says in the Magnificat, a lowly handmaid. is often in our weak state. It is, in fact, despite our weakness and our fragility that God desires us, our love most. Because a love born from adversity, a love born from Fragility is often a pure form. It's a 
love born from gratitude. We know ourselves when we have been weak, when we have been helpless, and help has been afforded us. How grateful we are. And so it is for us with our relationship with God. Knowing that we cannot save ourselves. Knowing that we need a saviour. Knowing that we need another's strength and power to enable us. So we are moved through our weakness, through our helplessness, to gratitude and thus to love. St Paul speaks in today's epistle about the nature of our adoption as children of God. By very virtue of his incarnation, by the virtue of the fact that he became one of us. That we may know and understand. again as we've reflected this past week the birth of Jesus is not just a story but is as reliable historical fact as most any other historical fact from that period of history we have more evidence for the birth of Jesus Christ than we do for the birth of Alexander the Great Nobody questions the existence once of Alexander the Great. And again, this is the whole point that God deliberately intervened. Deliberately interacted with our, within our sense and for our comprehension of time and space. in all this wise to ensure that we could know and understand and appreciate <coughs> let us then my brothers and sisters in the silence of our hearts allow the birth of the Christ child take shape and form within us so that we despite our weakness despite our frailty despite our fragility may recognize in all the signs of God's providence in our lives our salvation his continual help and presence and thus motivated by thanks bore and bear true love toward him. Who came that we might become like him. Who is God, Father, Son and Holy Ghost.
potentem, facorum celeste, visibilium omnium et invisibilium, et in unum dominum Iesum Christum filium Deum Nicenitum, et ex patio in antum antiam ia secula, Deum de Deo, lumen de lumine, Deum verum de Deo vero, genitum non factum consustantial in patri, verum omnia factus sum, qui propter nos homines e propter nos sum salutem de sceti de celis, Et incarnatus est de Spiritus Sancto, et Maria Virgine, et homo factus est. Crucifixus et sia pro nome su Pansio Pilatu, Pastus et Sucultus est, et resurrexit et sia die secundus Scripturas, et descetit in celum sedere et exteram patris, et iterum venturus est, con glori judicare, vivos et mortuos, cruz veni non erit finis et in Spiritum Sanctum Dominum et Fificantem, qui ex Patri procedi, qui con Patri et Filio semula adoretor con glorificatur cui locutus est per profetas, et unam sanctam catholicam et apostolicam ecclesiam, confitium baptisma e remissione peccatorum, et ex Pector Resurrectione Mortuorum, et vita peduri seculi. Amen. Domino sua viscum e con spirito tuo, orde vus. Deus, firmati torto in terre, quae non come vedo tu, parrate sedes tua Deus ex tunga seculo tu è. Grazie, fratres, ut me vestum sacrificium et peccabili, fica vedem, Padre, momi potente. Su scivia, Dominus, sacrificium e manibus me, se blaudum e gloria, non di sui, e giunge di tanto in voce nostre, tozius, per ecclesia e sue sante. Amen. Secula, 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 secula,
Amen. Dominus Vobiscum, et cum spiritu tuo, susum corda, habemus et Dominum, gratis et almus Domino Deo nostro, dignum et justum es, veri dignum et justum et tecum et salutario, si vi sembre dubico et gratis agere Domine Sancte Pater Omnipotente et Terenetens. Qui aper incarnati verbi misterium non, non commentis nostri oculis lustru e claritatis diffusi, ut un visibili terdem cognoscimus perfunc in invisibilium amorem e peamur. Et di Deo come angelis ed archangelis controlis ed dominationibus, cum cui omni unisse celestis ex egitus in un gloria et uecanius, sine fine di centens. Sanctus, 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 Dominus Deus Sanctus, Plenis un Ceri et Terra Gloria Tua, Hosanna in Excelsis. Benedictus quei venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in Excelsis.
Sonia Sigula Sigulorum. Amen. Orremus. Precepti salutari pur porti de vetis rossioni pomati. Alemus dice. Pater nostri di quiesi in cei, sanctificetum omum tuum, e veni ad regum tuum, si volontas tua, si cut in cielo e in terra. Pater nostri di quiesi in cei, nobis odie, e dimita in nobis debita nostra, si cut in nostri mitimus debitoribus nostri. Per ne lo si ducas in tentazione. Se libra nostra mano. Secula seculorum. Amen. Pax a Domini sit semper vobiscum. Et cum spirito tu. Annus dei, tu tanis peccato mundi miserendos. Annus dei, tu tanis peccato mundi miserendos. Annus dei, tu tanis peccato mundi miserendos. Amen. 
ecce omnes Dei, ecce qui tolit peccato mundi. Un Domine non sunt dignus ut intra il pectum meo, sed tantum dic verbo et sed nabitur anima mea. Domine non sunt dignus ut intra il pectum meo, sed tantum dic verbo et sed nabitur anima mea. Domine non sunt dignus ut intra il pectum meo, sed tantum dic verbo et sed nabitur anima mea. Brothers and sisters watching Mass online and unable, therefore, to receive the Blessed Sacrament, we invite you now to make an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that thou art present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love thee above all things, and I desire thee in my soul. Since I cannot now receive thee sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though thou wert already there, I embrace thee and unite myself wholly to thee. Permit not that I should ever be separated from thee. Amen. Dove tu verum et parte medus et vadi in terra miserere, de functis un denim qui quereban tu animam pulveri.
Dominus obiscu, et cum spirito tuo. Arrebus. Per fuius domine operazione misteri et vizia nostre pubentu, et iusa desideri et obreatu. Per dominum nostrum Iaesum Christum filium tu, qui tecum vivita regna ad humanitati spiritus santi Dei, per omnia secula seculor. Amen. Orde. Presta quaesum semnipotens Deus, sub natus honi e salvator mundi. <coughs> si pote fine in obis generationis et auto, ita reti mortalitati sit ipsa et lagito. Qui tecum vivida regna ad unelitati spiritus santi des per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Amen. Dominus obiscum, et cum spirito tuo, item isa est, Deo gratias. In nome Domini benedictum, et sum nunc dusque in secula, auditorum nostrum in nomine Domini, qui feci celum et eram, benedicat vos omnipotens Deus. Pater et filius, et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. Dominus Hobiscum, et cum Spirito Tuo, initium Sancti Evangelii secundum Giovanni. Gloria a Tibi Domine. In principio, et verbum, et verbum, et apudeum, et Deus, et verbum. Hoc erat in principio, apudeum, omni Christum, quantus sunt, e simso patum, e snilbo patum est. In ipso vita erat, in vita erat, lus hominum, lus centenum, es luce, et tenum, et non comprehenderum. Cui tomo me sussedere con amere la più grande, e si veresi testimoni o testimoni vivere tu lume, e tomo espetro in cui ilum. Non è reti dei lusse, tu testimoni vivere tu lume, e er lus vere qua lume, e tomo nem omine mi vede niente, e non pundum. E mundo vero altro, mundo espresso, quanto sesso, mundo se non tuni ovi, tu propri e veneti sum non e ciperum. Qual qual altre mi ciperum, te mi des forestate, in figlio stai, fieri, chi scritte, e nomine eis. Qui non le sangue, mi vus sexo volontari, cane, sexo volontari, viri, se deo nati sum. Et verbum carro facum eis, et habitavit in nobis, et vidimus gloria meus, gloria in quasi si quasi imaginiti a patre, verum gratia et veritatis. Deo gratias. God save Elizabeth our Queen, and graciously hear us when we call upon thee. Let us pray. Almighty God, we pray for thy servant Elizabeth, our Queen, upon whom thy mercy has laid the government of this kingdom. May she be given so great a measure of every virtue, thus worthily adorned, may she turn aside from all wickedness. May she overcome her enemies and with her consort and the royal family. May she come at last in grace to thee, the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. Amen. 